Lunchbox. Amazing things happen when saddle pals pair special needs children with horses. But the 14 year old Orangevale program is in jeopardy tonight. Organizers have just two months to find a new home or shut down the therapeutic riding program. How does that feel, Courtney? Good. 15-year-old Courtney Osio has been riding horses with saddle pals since she was six years old. When she was little, it was mostly physical things, just being um, on top of the horse helped with balance. Good, and back. Today, she is a champion, named Youth Equestrian of the Year by the North American Riding for the Handicapped Association. She just loves being around the horses. It's much, a lot more fun than sitting in a physical therapy room, having somebody stretch you around. And swing this leg up and over. And Courtney and about 55 other children and adults with developmental disabilities depend on Saddle Pals for alternative therapy. But soon it could all come to an end. We currently have lost our lease here. Uh, we were notified about 10 days ago that uh, we had to vacate the property on November 30th of this year. So we got a pretty short time frame to try to find a new location. All for the camera. With open land space giving way to housing and retail developments, yeah, finding a new home will be a challenge. Challenge. The organization is looking for a location with a minimum of five acres, a working barn with room for 10 to 15 horses, an arena and an indoor storage area. There's so many kids that really depend on this program and who have just huge benefit from being able to participate. Um, so, um, you know, any. Uh, we're anxious to, to get that resolved. Courtney is just a few months away from graduating from rider to trainer, a goal she can only reach if Saddle Pals finds a new home. And if you can help out, call the United Cerebral Palsy of Greater Sacramento at 916-565-7700. It's a very valuable program for children with special needs. They do great work. Looks like it. Yeah. Right after the break, he was in the right place at the right time. Tonight, the man who caught Barry Bond's record-breaking 756th home run ball says he's cashing in. Find out how much that ball could sell for.